What's going on guys? Platter my cards in the house and I am here play testing the deck build that I had shown yesterday. So this is a play test of my Great Old Paleozoic Frog deck build. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started guys. All right guys, looks like I'll be going first. I drew a bunch of Paleozoic cards. I also have Swap Frog, so I should be able to go into Totally Awesome right away. Um, I'm going to set this and I'm going to set this. I'm going to keep um, Greta Split in my hand just as something to use. I'm going to special summon Swap Frog, and then I'm going to dump uh, Ronin Totin. I'm going to use my Swap Frog's effect, send it back to my hand, summon it again, and then dump uh, Screw It, it's another Swap Frog. I'm going to you banish my Swap Frog in order to special summon this, and then I can immediately go into Totally Awesome. And uh, for the face downs, I have two of the same exact card, and I should be good. So I have three effects that I can use. Uh, I'm going to use my Totally Awesome right away. I'm going to detach my Ronin Toten, and I'm going to summon Dupe Frog. Uh, Dupe Frog is good because he, my opponent has to attack Dupe Frog if it's on the field. And secondly, the, um, and pr it essentially Totally Awesome spawns a material that I can use. So it's not bad at all. Or not a material I can use. Yeah, a material for an XYZ summon, but also this thing's effect is I have to send an Aqua Monster for my hand or face up on the field. So I will always have one handy in this deck most of the time, unless I it's later in the deck or later in the game, maybe I start running out or whatever. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay, what is this? He is using Odd Eyes Fusion. Okay, I am going to let that go through. Because I have my Paleozoic cards that can get rid of it unless it's actually not that familiar with the Odd Eyes archetype. I know most of them. There are some fusion cards. There are some pendulum cards. I believe there's an XYZ card. Maybe even a Link Monster that I don't know of. Yeah, see, I knew it. Odd Eyes, Absolute Dragon. There is an XYZ monster. I don't know about Link's. Maybe I'm wrong there. So then he's going to use this thing. Its effect is when it's special summon, you can target one face up. Uh, Okay. Shuffle. Okay, so this can actually negate my... Uh, Dino Miscus as well, but uh, if he's using this thing's effect right away, I'm going to use Totally Awesome just snatch his monster. You bet I'm snatching your monster, buddy. You bet, buddy. All right, let's send Doof Frog to the grave. Uh, set the destroyed monster. Yes, I'm taking his monster. So this is something with 3,000 defense. I should be good. Obviously, uh, Totally Awesome is once per turn, so got to be a little bit careful, but it was going to go to the grave, uh, or it was going to be sent away anyway, so... Let's see if he has anything else. Yes, he does. He has a bunch of pendulums, which is annoying. Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Once per turn during the end phase, if your opponent activated a card or effect this turn, that targeted Odd Eyes. Oh, this, this is true. This is what I did. Then he also Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. I am. It amazes me how unfamiliar I am with this archetype. It's kind of sad, really. But hopefully, I draw something good. I can resummon Rodent Toten since I have. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to use my totally awesome. Uh, activate two cards. No, uh, I'm going to do this. So now I have Dupe Frog on the field. I can s normal summon Swap Frog if I really wanted to, and then I can also summon. You know what? I'm going to keep Swap Frog in my hand just because I have two Paleozoic Dynamiscuses on the field. Try it one face up. Okay, so it has to be face up. So I can, if I really wanted to, I can get rid of both of his pendulum monsters. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, though. But I will use um, Ronin Toad, and I'm going to banish the Dupe Frog in order to special summon itself. And then we are going to go for Totally Awesome number two. And I have Gretel Split. Uh, screw it. I'm going to use my Paleozoic card. I'm going to banish this one. And I'm not going to activate another card for now. I'm going to send Swap Frog. Since I already have both of my Totally Awesomes in the field, I know Totally Awesome, sometimes you're going to end up needing it. Uh, crap, I forgot to summon his monster in attack mode. Oh, well. I probably... Uh, hopefully I can win next turn, but I forgot to summon his monster in attack mode. So that was a misplay on my part. But I have two Totally Awesomes. Uh, I believe this one's out of material, but this one I can still special summon. I think I still have some Doofrogs in. Two Doofrogs here. And then I have a Doof Frog here. Nope, nope, I'm out of Doof Frogs. Uh, and I should be... Nope, but I think I have one more Swap Frog. 
So I think I'm good. But I do have two negates. So this will be interesting to see how he tries to play around that. And now it is my end phase. Oh, sorry, it was his end phase. Nice. So I'm going to flip, finally, the odd eyes card. And then attack. And what do you know? That's game, guys. All right, so my opponent is going to be going first. Uh, I drew Gradle Alligator, Salvage, uh... Pezoic Dynamiscus, uh, Gamma Seal, which is going to come in clutch. Okay, Bingo Machine Go. Okay, so he's going to be using a Blue Eyes deck. And I also do Ronin Toten. So I already know what my target is for the Paleozoic Dynamiscus. In case I draw, if I draw like Swap Frog or something, my combo is going to change a bit since I can go in totally awesome. But it seems like he's not doing much else. Okay. Um, I can also send this to the grave now. All right, so I'm going to set... This card, now obviously not in the same zone as his trap card, because God knows what the hell he's going to be using. I don't know if I want to waste my... Uh, actually, yeah. Is this face up? Uh, you can switch summon uh, this card's name. Target one monster. Nope, it's just one monster. Okay, so maybe I do want to do this. Let's just get rid of that to Gamma Seal. And then I will set this. Call it a turn. And then this is level 8, so it can help him with his XYZ summons. That's what I'm concerned about. But I do have Paleozoic Dynamiscus. If he does summon... Um, okay, I guess he had nothing else. I'm body snatching the goddamn Gamma Seal, that's for sure. We all get Blue Eyes Bricked at one time or another. Okay, there we go. He, he just uh, Jet Dragoned. Uh, cannot other cards cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects? I don't care about other cards. Let's 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 focus on what we care about here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna send Ronin Toten. Screw it, Ronin Toten. Um, Ronin Toten's effect only is useful to me in the graveyard. This I can use from my hand or grave. So I do have this. I don't have anything else for now. Doofrog, I can just set. I'm kind of hoping for one more thing to get destroyed so then I can just add two to my hand again. But All right, that's done. And now it is his turn. And now he's going to go for one for one. So he's going to send one monster from his hand to the grave. Uh, okay, Dragon Spirit. Okay, now I understand why he played so terribly. He blew his brick, didn't he? It happens to the best of us, like I said. Happens to the best of us. So hopefully we'll start getting a little bit more challenged. Although if we start getting challenged, I don't know if I have the best hand for that. And then Whitestone of Ancients, that's all he does. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Okay, this card's now Death Frog on the field. When this card is set from the field of the graveyard. Okay, so I'm going to summon this, sacrifice this. And it just didn't work, I guess. But I will use my other Greater Slime, destroy both of these in order to summon itself. And then I can summon Greater Alligator from the grave. That's going to allow me to go into Greater Dragon. Uh, this thing is going to allow him to special summon a bunch of stuff too. So got to be careful about that. So I'm going to destroy both of his stuff. Well, you control a non-effect monster, but... Here's the thing. Why would you play this card? There are better cards that do the same thing, essentially. What can I use from the grave? I can use Ronin Toten right now. Um, I'm going to use Salvage. I'm going to add Gradle Alligator, and I'm going to add Doop Frog back to my hand. Doop Frog is just useful. Uh, if I happen to set it or something again, then I can still technically add another frog to my hand, so... And he managed to get Ultimate Dragon out, which is interesting, because you don't usually see Ultimate Dragon. I could see the other Ultimate Dragon, the alternative Ultimate Dragon. That thing's actually pretty decent. I run that in my Blue's deck. I've never run an, uh, the original Ultimate Dragon, though. But to each their own. I'm sure he has a good way to make use of it. It seems like he does. Shit, he brought it out pretty easy. Stop me from attacking him directly. And now he's going to use that, and my Gradle Dragon's effect is going to activate. That allows me to special summon a water monster from my graveyard. 
I'm going to special summon my kaiju in defense mode. I did that on purpose because his two monsters have 3,000, so he has no choice but to attack with ultimate dragon. So I will live. I will live with extra life points. And now he's going to go into his battle phase. I don't know what the hell he just did. Did he just attack me with Jet Dragon, or am I tripping? Yeah, I think he just attacked me with his Jet Dragon. That was kind of dumb. So now I took zero battle damage. I'm not mad. I'm not tripping at all. Shit. Hopefully I draw something good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is what I was worried about right here. Because this thing I can't target at all. I was worried about this not being able to target that, and now he's going to go into his number 100, maybe? I don't know why he didn't do that before he attacked. Oh, he's going to go into number 92. Actually, I just got the perfect hand. This might just be the perfect hand. Um, the card cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, uh, I'm not destroying it by battle anyway, so I'm fine. I'm going to activate, destroy this. I'm going to activate my alligator. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, uh, special summon greater slime and then go into a tuner. But none of my monsters are able to just take this thing out. And this thing is going to be annoying. So let me just attack. Now his card is destroyed. And his jet dragon's effect is going to activate. Alright, so now main phase 2. I am now going to use it to destroy the both of these. In order to special summon this, I'm going to use this effect. I can bring back Girl Dragon if I wanted to, too. But I'm going to bring back this. Now, this is going to allow me to summon any of these, really. Should I go for... I just need something that can destroy his pump monster right now. I think I should go for... When this card is synchro summoning, destroy all your opponent's attack position monster is perfect. Actually, this only has 2,800, but it's able to recycle itself. So I'm not tripping about it. I'm probably, in order to use this effect, uh, I'm going to banish the Kaiju or Girl Slime, because I have two Girl Slimes. Mausoleum of White. This allows him to, I think, normal summon twice, as long as it's a level 1 light tuner. This variation of the Blue Eyes deck is interesting. I know ever since like the Ultimate Fusion and stuff came out, even my Blue Eyes deck has been a lot more fusion-focused. Uh... Just because the the uh, ultimate fusion does bounce a lot of your opponent's cards, so it's a pretty good card. But I haven't seen it yet. He's using Mausoleum of White, which uh, sometimes I like to watch other people's deck builds online. And I know a couple people have been using Mausoleum of White, so maybe it's more geared toward that direction. Uh, he just banished two. Just yep, that's what I thought. Chaos Dragon Livianir. He's going to destroy up to two cards on the field. This thing is destroyed, so is its effect going to activate? Yes, it is. I am just going to go ahead and banish the Kaiju since it's never going to be used again. And I'm summon it in attack mode, and now it becomes a tuner, which I don't really care about. And I don't know what he's doing right now. But he just dumped a Blue Eyes White Dragon to the grave, so. It's or maybe I should expect something to happen now. Yes, I'm gonna use White or a Will again. I'll just banish this. Special summon White or a Will. I could summon it in defense mode, but it is what it is. And now he's going to summon okay. Yeah, okay. This thing negates monsters. No, sorry, it negates spell effects. So I'm going to set my Gretel Eagle. I have no choice but to reposition this. You know, earlier I could have summoned my Red Dragon Archfiend and gotten rid of his monster, technically, and he would have taken some damage for it. So now I'm going to use my White Aura Whale. Hell yes. Uh, I will banish the Gretel Dragon. Infinite recyclability is always helpful. 
The problem is, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Special summon this. I'm gonna dump dupe frog. Yes, I'm gonna use swap frog's effect. Dump this to the grave. Activate. Then I can special summon totally awesome. I'm going to leave this in attack mode on purpose, and then I'm going to end. And then during the end phase, I'm going to use Totally Awesome's effect, detach this. So even if, let's say, he doesn't use this thing's effect or level uh, 3,000 attack point monster's effect, he's still going to have to attack this. And if he does, I'm going to negate it using Gradle Eagle. I could take it with Gradle Eagle, or I could take it with Totally Awesome if I really wanted. But if he has two monsters on the field, nope, he just goes into his battle phase. So he has no choice but to attack Duke Frog. Duke Frog is going to activate. I'm going to add a swap frog to my hand. And now this is main phase two. And he's ending. Another Duke Frog, huh? I never really wanted to. I can just do this. Special summon. I'm going to use swap frog's effect. Uh, dump my last Rotten Toten. I'll just banish this. Summon that. And then I will call it a turn. See, the problem is, totally awesome, super dope, universal negate. If you have two of them on the field, you're, you're set. But if your opponent has something already in the field that's a little bit stronger than you, yeah, so he's immediately going to go into his battle phase. I'm then going to use totally awesome. I can add a water monster. Now I regret sending the kaiju because I could have added the kaiju to my hand and then just immediately kaiju it. Um, I'm going to go with Griddle Eye Leader. Okay, he's using his Mausoleum of White, I think. He's just dumping stuff in the grave, huh? And he sets one. Okay, so maybe he won't die right away, but trust me. My time has arrived. My time has arrived. I will use this. I will destroy this and this. I will special summon this. Then I will pop off effects. I will take this. And then I will also use this thing's effect to special summon this. And watch this. Gradle Dragon. Yeah, I have two on my online. I know in my technically in my deck build, I only had one, but I definitely recommend having two. And now this thing, White or a Will, just piercing. So I may actually, yeah, I think I got this in the bag now. So piercing and, yep, so he went ahead and quit. So that's a W for me. All right, guys, I'm going to be going first. And looks like I am pretty set for Totally Awesome. So I already sent Ronin Toad into the grave. It looks like he might have something. That's what I thought. Infinite permanence. Uh, so I'm just going to set these. Is there any way to add this back to my hand? Oh, I can. Nice. So I just special summon it again. Okay, I don't know if that's technically allowed, but I guess it is. So then I can send both of these and then go into Totally Awesome. And I think I should be good. I cannot use the Paleozoic card I just said, actually, because I used everything from my hand, but I kind of had to. Totally awesome on the field is way better than being able to use the Paleozoic trap card. And maybe I should have summoned Girdle Eagle in attack mode, because if I can negate something with it, then using Girdle Eagle and sending it to the grave, then I can body snatch one of my opponent's monsters as well. So that is something to maybe think about. But I have no idea what this guy's using, but infinite permanence is pretty common. Like, everybody will use it. All right, he's using Rainbow Dragon. Add one Crystal Speller Trap from your deck to your hand. I'll let him do that. I'm going to let him do his thing for now. And what does this card do? Each time a Crystal Beast Monster is placed in either player's spell, place one Crystal Counter on this card. You can send this card to the graveyard. Take an arrow Crystal Beast Monster from your deck. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is pretty good in, in order for him to just summon a bunch of stuff at once. And here comes another one. 
Crystal Bonds. Add one Crystal Beast monster from your deck to your hand, then place one Crystal Beast monster with a different name. Okay. And he's going to put his monster in the spells and trap zone. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. I am not going to do anything about any of that right now. And this card is normal summon. You can place one crystal beast monster from your hand deck. La la la. Place it. Um, I know nothing about this archetype like at all. So I don't know what to negate, what not to negate. I know it was in the GX anime, but I've never actually used it or seen it used against me. So if I can pull this one off, it should be pretty legendary. So now he has three. And he just banished one thing. So I'm assuming he's about to get more. Topaz Tiger. Activate a card effect. No, I'm not going to do anything again. This guy's turn is taking forever. Okay, now he's Link Summoning Tri Brigade, Frigid the Baron Blossom. I'm just going to let him do his thing for now. Once per turn, you can target one crystal beast you control. Place that target on top of the deck. If this face-up card is destroyed in a monster zone, you can place it in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell instead of sending it to the graveyard. Okay. I might be interested in looking up at this archetype and using it in the future. I just don't know what it's capable of. So... Crystal beast cobalt eagle. I have the better eagle. Don't... Verten, okay, this is, okay. Okay, buddy, you're getting negated. For sure I'm negating the Anaconda. Don't, don't even. It didn't let me negate the Anaconda. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. I have no clue what the hell just happened. Did not let me negate the anaconda. I'm sure something had happened that I just am not aware of. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to banish this in order to special summon this. And then I can... What is this thing's effect? Once per turn, you can... Okay, I have no choice. I'm banishing this. I feel like I got screwed in that situation. And now he's going to take his hour long turn. Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. Oh shit, Rainbow Dragon. Uh no. Not Rainbow Dragon then? Another a Rainbow Over Dragon. That's probably worse. And now it's the battle phase, so he has no choice but to attack uh, with Rainbow Over Dragon first. I just need a single Gradle. A single Gradle. I can turn this deck around. Alright, so I'm going to use this thing again just for defensive purposes. I am then going to set my Gradle Cobra and I'm going to let him do his thing. Must be either Fusion Summon or a Special Summon by tributing one level 10. Perfect. He just played himself. 
Let me show you what an equip spell on my side of the field can do, buddy. That's what I thought. I'm going to set this, and I am going to go straight into the battle phase. Let's do this. All right, so that thing's gone. And now he has to do some... He has to work some magic right here for him to even be able to do anything. Uh, I'm not going to use Griddle Split yet. What does this thing do? If you control two or more Crystal Beast cards in your spell and traps, so your opponent chooses one Crystal Beast that you send to the graveyard. If you do, draw two cards. I'll just send the tortoise. And now he's going to play the field spell, Rainbow Ruins, Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Target up to two Crystal Beast monsters in your graveyard, place the targets in your spell in the trap zone. Crap. So pretty much just undid me sending whatever the hell he sent to the uh, I just sent to the graveyard, the, his tortoise. And he calls it a phase. Okay, so I'm going to use Griddle Split on this, and now I can bring this back like such. And now I am going to use my Griddle Split in order to special summon this and this. Now I can then go into Griddle Dragon, which is going to let me destroy his field spell and then one of his Crystal Beasts. Now I'm going to summon this and pretty sure that's game fellas pretty sure that's game fellas yep that's what i thought well guys you got to see me playtesting my my great old paleozoic frog deck build if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe and oh my goodness look at the time it's time to do, 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 do.